All right, bro, I'm about the bag chaser. How's it going? It's going great, my boy. You know how to pull up on Cam Capone, get this interview in. Man, that's what's up, man. Glad to have you, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate Long you. Long time in the making. Appreciate you, my boy. Well, we'll get right into it, man. You know, uh, for, the, for the people who don't know on my platform, can you let, let them know a little bit about yourself, you know, where you grew up at, what yeah. things were like, like for you? Yeah, I'm Bravo the Bag Chaser, L.A., California, you know, hottest young Mexican rapper out right now. And, uh, yeah, man, you know, let's get to it. Okay, uh, what part of L.A. did you grow up in? When I was little, like in South Central with my pops, then when he got locked up, I was like seven, you know, we went to the pants, moved to the valley, we jumped around the valley with my mom my brother okay your dad got locked up you yeah. said when you were seven when i was about seven yeah well how long was he locked up for i say like six seven years bro so pretty much like all your you know the yeah the time the, growing the up and shit yeah how'd that affect you uh i mean shit for the better you know it gave me more shit to rap about and shit like that so yeah, yeah. okay um well <laughs> Do you have any brothers and sisters? Yeah, I got a brother. <clears throat> I got I got a few sisters. Uh, my brother Bless and shit, you know, he locked up. He went down, I think, like, 2016, 2017. Um, he should be getting out soon, though, so, yeah, you know. Okay. And so what was life like for you growing up? Was it rough? Was it? It was for sure, yeah, man, you know, sleeping on the floor. You know, getting evicted, jumping from spot to spot, shit like that. It was just my moms and shit at first, you know, and my siblings. So, we ain't never really had shit, bro, so, yeah. Okay. Uh, what was high school like for you? I ain't never really been. I was going to continuation schools, so uh, dropped out, like, early, you know. It was just getting money in the streets, hustling. Okay. What do you think was like one of the most wildest times you had in the streets? Is there something you could talk about, a story you could share? I can't talk about the wildest, but uh, I can't talk about the wild shit, man. But, you know, just a lot of crazy shit, you know. Most of the shit I can't speak on. Okay, so you go to continuation school. Do you graduate? No, nah, I ain't graduate. I'm going to drop out. You dropped out? Yeah, <clears throat> I just started really just rapping and hustling and shit. You know, the rapping shit started picking up, so I just, I was like, I'm going to run with this, you know? Okay. And so at what age did you start rapping? I say like around 15, 16, I was, uh, you know, I got locked up. I was in the halls, and my brother was already trying to put me on to that shit, to the rap. And uh, we'd record a little bit, but on our phones and shit. So when I was locked up, um, you know, I started writing shit, you know, banging on the tables, you know, uh, showing it to everybody else I was with. And they fuck with it. Everybody told me, oh, you should, you know, you should try that shit when you get out. I saw I was locked up. I ran into my boy, Baby. He right here, right behind you and shit. We was in the halls together. And uh, they fucked up. They fucked around and took both our units to church. He gave me a notepad, a composition book to write in. I just started rapping, you know, just up from there. Came home, had a whole bunch of shit written down. <clears throat> Yeah, it is. You started putting music out right then and there? Started putting that shit out right there. Okay. And what, what were you in juvenile hall for? Uh, You know, some some robberies and shit like that. Little shit like that. Okay. So you go to juvenile hall. How long were you there? I was uh in the halls. I stayed for like about a year and then placement too. Had me in placements and shit like that in and out the halls. Okay. And so, so you get out, you start rapping. Uh, do you ever get a real job? Yeah, for sure, man. I man, I used to, uh, I for sure, yeah, I used to try to get, like, jobs at, like, warehouses and shit with, like, a fake ID, landed one, you know, shit didn't last long, but uh, I used to do shit like that, man, you know. Did you get fired? What happened? Nah, I went to jail. Oh. Yeah, so, you know, I, ain't, I wasn't there for that long, but I was, I was doing some, I was working with grown-ass Men, you know, women, you know, in the warehouse, I was like 16, 17 and shit, making pallets and shit, you know. Okay. And then your rapping career just kind of took off when you came home? It didn't take off, you know, I just, <clears throat> people fuck with it, so I started putting more en energy into it. And uh, the more energy I put into it, the more I got out of it. So, yeah. 
Okay, what was like the first song song that kind of started to crack for you? Mm. I remember a few years ago, I seen quite a bit of your videos were doing really good numbers, man. Thank you, my boy. Um, shit. All the old shit, man. Like, old shit, like, My Life, No Better. Shit, like, Let You Know With My Brother. You know, my brother was rapping with me, too, before he got locked up. So, shit with him. Shit with my boy Baby right here, you know. And my boy, uh... Austin the Pac-Man, R.I.P., you know, we was doing numbers and shit. We was just dropping shit, you know, watching it go up. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so so things start to take off for you. And are you doing shows or are you, you know? Yeah, yeah. At first, man, I started, uh, how far are we from Moreno Valley? Mm. Like a half hour. Like a half hour, 30 minutes. My first show, you know, my fans would tell, I was like, where y'all want me to pull up at on Instagram? It was, everybody saying, Movell, Movell, Moreno Valley. So I pu I pull up, I ran out this little, like, hall, and, um, you know, I tell everybody pull up, I'm thinking that shit gonna be lit, <laughs> you feel me? It's like my first appearance. Man, like, how many people pulled up, baby? Like, 30? Like, it was about, 30. about 30 people pulled up, and they ain't pulled up at the same time either. Like, you know, I thought I was going to do a show. I was there just, like, just literally meeting people, chilling with them, smoking with them and shit. And that shit humbled me real quick on oh, God. But um, fast forward. Did I, you already have millions of views at this time? Uh, nah, I, I'm, I'm probably in the hundred thousands. Okay. And then over time, you know, I started opening up for, like, AZ Chike, uh, One Take, Shoreline, you know, my boy Phoenix. Um, and then like over time started gaining fans in the crowd and shit and now I'm selling shit out. I'm going to different states selling shit out, you feel me? Places I've never been. It feel good. I'm going on tour starting uh this month, end of this month I'm going on tour. Who are you going on tour with? Uh it's just my tour, but <clears throat> we recently just got A Z Tyke on it. And uh I'm for sure gonna have some special guests like Phoenix, J I bands and shit pop out, you know? Shit like that. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah. All right. Um, I seen you did a song with Draco. My boy, yeah. I did a uh, Stay Dangerous. It was with him and Blueface. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. How did all that come together? Did uh, did you have a relationship with Blueface before he went to jail, or? Uh, you, you mean Draco? With Draco? Draco. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. bad. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I didn't have a relationship with him. I actually, man, when I was locked up, I used to just sing his shit when I was in, you know, my cell. I used to just sing all his songs. I knew him word for word. Um, so that shit was crazy for me when he hit me, he was locked up and shit. He said he had a song for me that he fucked with me. It was the Pippi Longstocking remix. That's why he was locked up still. And so ever since then, you know, we made that shit happen. And when he got out, he said he was going to pull up on me. He pulled up, man. He pulled up to the studio, Double R. He had just gotten out and we, uh, we knocked out his verse on Stay Dangerous, you know? And then, um. My manager, he got like real ties with Blue, so we made you know made that happen. We sent Blue the song, he fucked with it, so it was like it, it was perfect. You feel me? Draco and Blue on that shit, it was like an anthem, for real. Was that your biggest song? Nah, definitely not. Hell no. Nah. No? Oh, okay. Uh, one of my biggest, but is it one of my biggest? Probably nah. Hell no, nah. it's not even one of my biggest. No better, too many problems. Yeah, like too many problems, no better shit. Yeah, my my big shit is just like me by myself. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, bro. But, uh, yeah, he came through. He did that. You feel me? He's a solid individual. Fuck him. Don't let Drake off, for real. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Yeah. So, uh, who are some of the rappers you looked up to? Like, Nip. I say, you said look up to, huh? Nip. For sure, looked up to Drake. I was slapping his shit when I was young. Um, who else? I didn't really look up to rappers, you know, just mainly Nick, you feel me? Okay. I like, who, I like your favorite rappers, I guess, would be. Um, shit, I fuck with, I fuck with a, lot of, a lot of rappers. My, my playlist probably crazy. You got, like, Pooh Shiesty, Lil Durk, you know, Nick. You, I fuck with the Bay, too. I fuck with a lot of Bay music, so Mozzie, shit like that. <clears throat> I actually got a song with Mozzie on my album, too, so. Okay. How'd that come together? Uh, we got booked for a show in January at the Novo, and um, it was me and him headlining it. <clears throat> and uh, 
I ran into him, like after I had did my set, I ran into him in a like in a hallway somewhere in the Novo. And you know, I was, we was just like squatted up. Like I was squatted up, he was squatted up. I was like, oh my boy, Mozzie, you know, shook hands, so we we gotta get one in. <clears throat> he said he was gonna do it, came through with his word, put up to the video shoot, all that off the strength, so shout out Mozzie too. Yeah, that's what's up. Um Okay, and you mentioned you had a tour going on. Uh, how many cities are you going to? Shit, I'm 18, like 18 cities. 18, 18 cities. cities. That's what's up. Yeah, it's probably my biggest shit yet. Yeah, like my last tour, it was, it was like, what, 10 cities? Mm-hmm. Like 10. You know, it's all independently too. Ain't no label behind this shit. It's just, you feel me? Independent. It's, we just getting bucked <laughs> type shit. So I fuck with it. Oh, okay. Run up a bag. You're not signed with anybody? No I'm no not, empire, nothing? I'm not signed with nobody. I do my own shit, man. You know? Tour, all that shit, independent. Drop independent, you know? So, yeah, not signed with no labels. Were you signed to a label at any point? Nah. Never? You've never, never, never been, been signed, signed to a label. Never been signed to a label. All this shit is from the ground up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you want to sign to a label? I actually don't. I actually don't. I, I like having control over my shit. I don't want to look. <clears throat> I don't want somebody to tell me, "Oh, you can do this. You can't do this. You can drop. You can't drop." I wanna. I, I wanna drop shit. You feel me? For my fans. I don't want to be. I don't know. Just. You know. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe if I could get like the right deal, right terms, right percentages. You know. Right. Uh, right team and shit. Like as far as lawyers. To overlook that shit, then yeah, and if the money right too, but I'm not hurting for no money, you know, I'm I'm chilling. Nobody's up made you no offers? Oh uh, yeah, I for sure got offers over at M's too, but I ain't trying to give up nothing. I ain't trying to give up I ain't trying to give shit up. You know, they want my they want my music. They want all the shit I put my blood, sweat and tears into, bro. You know, that's They I, want your back catalog. Yeah, I can't give them I can't give them that, you know? So Yeah, I've heard that a lot of Deals when they you know when they sign you they want they want to they want to get a piece of your back catalog. Yeah, you see that money, you see them zeros and shit, and you just like oh, you about to sign, but then you see what the fuck they want from you, and you just like damn, you know that's all I got to my name. They want to take that shit, you feel me? So I'm straight. Yeah. I just keep it independent for now. Okay. Uh, so what all are you working on right now? <clears throat> so I was working on my album. We was working on it for like a year, and um, so we finally finished that shit literally the other night, like the night before last night, and uh, yeah, we uploaded it. It's going to come out September this month, so, you know, I'm excited for that shit. We've been waiting on it. I know my fans been waiting on it, so. Anybody on there that you can uh, talk about? Yeah, you talk about it. Uh, Mozzie on there, you know, Phoenix. Okay. Um, Oh, Chike on there, AZ Chike. Um, who else on there, motherfucker? All black. Oh, all mm, peso, peso. R, all black. He that song didn't go on there. Remember? Uh, R three, peso, peso. AFM, peso. So you feel me? Got some, got some good shit. Okay. Well, got some good producers on there too. Got some hitters on there. So. Okay. What producers you working with? Uh, got my boy Scum. Man, he made like damn near the whole album for real. Uh, that's uh, Scum Beats. Yeah, Blue Faces. Yeah, yeah. He, producer. He, he made like a lot of shit for him. Yeah, and uh, who else I got? I got my boy Quad. He be making shit for a lot of people. My boy DTB. I got some people on there. You know, make hits and shit. So should be a good album. Mm, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. <clears throat> um. How do you feel about the current state of like Mexican artists coming up in California right now? I feel like there's definitely more than there used to be. You know, when I when I started doing that shit, I think there was just like a couple. You know, it wasn't a lot. Now, you know, there's more. I fuck with it. I fuck with the. I fuck with what they doing. I fuck with what we all doing. I think we all need to, you know, keep applying pressure. Okay. Yeah. There's definitely a lot more. Mexican artists, there's uh, you know more more uh, doors open for Mexican artists. 
versus you know years ago. Uh, sure. It's definitely improved a lot, man. Um, Keep the door in. How's fatherhood changed you? Definitely made me uh, made me think twice for doing certain shit. You feel me? Not so impulsive no more. Think about my son. You know, just turned one too, so should be crazy. They like, going quick. Definitely, uh, definitely changed me though. I don't be doing the same stupid shit I used to be on. Why the di why the long uh, break for music? You said it's been like a year since you put an album out. I, I do albums every year, so it's my thing to do once a year type shit, you feel me? But it's probably like my first, yeah, I was interviews. It's been like a minute since I did interviews. It's like my first one in a minute, so, yeah. I ain't okay. took no break, though. Like, if I ain't drop, I'm working, though. We be in the studio, like, yeah, we still drop singles. Oh, okay. We dropping singles every month, you know, shoot music videos. And I'm always working, though. Like, you know, I be, I be working. Okay, how come we don't do more interviews? Shit, man. I guess you could just say I don't like them, you know? I just don't like them, but uh, you know, I, don't, I don't know. I don't really like interviews, but I'm starting to, though. I wanted to do this one type shit, you feel me? <laughs> Sorry, shit. Don't like all the questions, the <laughs> Yeah, I'm just, you know, it's just, uh, that shit be crazy how it's on camera and shit. Like, sometimes I be saying shit, and I'm like, oh, fuck, I said that on camera. You know what I mean? I forget there's a camera right there, so, you know, shit like that, but. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you ever seen an interview, and you like, like damn, it like, made you not want to do uh, interviews yeah. or something? Nah, nah, just like, shit, I don't know. It's just, it's just the questions and the camera and shit, you know. But I'm getting used to it, though. I'm fucking with this one. I think this one cool. Okay. Yeah, man, that shit, you know. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> so, uh, I hear you have some celebrity crushes out there. Nah, nah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got no celebrity crush. <laughs> okay. I don't think so, you know. Mm, shit. For sure, don't. Um, so, yeah, man, uh, you know. I can see why interviews can be tough, you know? Nah, they cool. They not tough. It's just like, you know, I want to give people a good interview type shit. shit. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so you're working on your album. Is there anything else you're working on? Merch, yeah, for sure, merch. I just did, like, a whole... I just got, like, a whole bunch of merch. I should have brought some shit, but... um. Yeah, so merch, I'm finna be dropping that soon. You know, I'm doing collabs with a Sali. I got a collab coming with Dirty Politics, you know what I'm saying? So we should uh we should be seeing the merch pop up soon, you know, for sale. Do you have any art yeah, do you have any artists you wanna work with in the future? Um, yeah, man. I for sure wanna get some shit in with like Kodak one day, you feel me? I've been fucking with Kodak too since I was young. So I for sure wanna get some shit in with Kodak. Um it's uh yeah, all the all the hitters really, you know. Wanna get some shit in with like Foto Doug too, shit like that. Mm, yeah, yeah Foto Doug. I think he's locked up right now, right? Yeah, I think he is. Yeah. yeah. Kodak Black, that'd be dope. Peasy too, I fuck with Peasy. Definitely gotta get some shit in with Peasy. From Detroit? Yep. Yeah. Yep, dope dude, man. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, any old school dudes you wanna work with? Any old school rappers? Um, old school rappers. Nah, old school. Nah, not really. Got no okay. Old school rappers I want to work with. You ever had any any wild tour stories? You can talk about any any any. <laughs> <laughs> shit, I, yeah, I I got some stories, but not shit I can talk about though. Huh? Nah. nah you yeah. have no crazy groupie stories out there on tour? You ain't laughing because he know. <laughs> nah, huh? Nah, man, you know, I be trying to stay out the mix, you feel me? Okay. Just other than, you know, I don't know, shit. They be trying to, uh, bitches be trying to come with a nigga when I leave the show, but, you know, I don't be going for that shit, you know? Does head. It's like, do, you, do you have a release date for your album? Yeah, I do. It's going to be on the 22nd September, man, you know, so... I'm excited. That shit already uploaded. I hope my fans fuck with it. So, 
you know, keep doing these shows, keep doing these tours and shit. Yeah, definitely, man. That's it's good to see you coming up, man. I appreciate you know, it, bro. I appreciate it. I've been seeing you for quite a few years out there grinding and doing numbers, man. Yeah, appreciate you, bro. I had to come fuck with you, man. Ben needed to knock this interview out. Yeah, for sure, for sure, man. Well, I appreciate you, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate you having me, bro, for real. Definitely, man. All right, my boy. Let's go.